Hello, this video is for trumpet one players. We are playing prehistoric suite, so make sure that your music says trumpet one at the top left corner. If it does not, please stop and go back and find the correct video. We're gonna be using, we are going to be working on movement number one, the stegosaurus. And we're gonna be notes, going over notes and rhythms and some stylistic music things that are in your music. So let's start out at the very beginning. We have G. G, 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 C. Now we practice in band going from our low C to G to, C, to the high C. This is Y, this is good practice. Going low C, G, C. So we wanna be able to get all those tones out really um, very pure, very clean, um, and then we can put it with the music. So let's do the beginning, um, first 10 measures. One, two, starts on G. And I didn't mention, I forgot to mention before we played through it, but where you see those little arches, that look like they're connecting to the notes together. That's exactly what they're doing. It's called a tie. And a tie will connect two or more notes together. Well, technically a tie can only tie two notes together, but there could be multiple ties like you have in your music. So instead of playing C, 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 I just have one long C that lasts for five beats. Happens again later on. And then when we play G, that G is tied to the next G half note. So instead of playing two G half notes, I play one long G for four whole beats. Ties, crazy. Then we have two measures of rest, two measures of silence, two beats in a measure. So we go one, two, one, two. At 13, we come in on a low C, 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 G. And again, it's tied to the half note, tied to the quarter note. So one plus two plus one is four. Instead of playing G, 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 we have G. Then here's the hardest part of this movement. Well, one of the hardest parts. We have some eighth notes. So we have G, A, B flat, A, G, F, G. Again, it's G, A, B flat, A, G, F, G. Now we have ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. Articulation wise, they have a slur, it looks just like a tie, it's a little arch, but it's going between two separate, two different notes, so we know we're just gonna not articulate the second note. Ta, ta. The next two notes have little dots underneath them, so we know that's staccato. Staccato means short and detached. So instead of going da da da, we have ti ti ta. So I'm just gonna do those six eighth notes starting on G. <laughs> because 13 to 21 is the same as 21 to 29. So I'm gonna wanna practice that part because I know it's gonna come back, come back to bite me. So here's 13 to 29. Starts on low C. One, two, ready, and. connecting all those notes together. Hopefully that is not throwing you off. At 29, I have to go up to a, G, a high C, then back down to a G, then back up to that high C. Then we have this note, B flat. That's what that little symbol means right before the note. In measure 31, that's a flat. Usually we would play this B in our concert B flat scale, but it's marked it different. It means it's this B, this B flat. Then we go to G. Back to B flat, up to C, G, G, C, B flat for a half note, G for a half note. And there's a couple tied G's in there. So we have 
ta 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 half note half note let's do 29 to 37 ready go jumps from C to G that might be something that you want to practice B flats to G even because that is a slight jump all right and 37 we have C B flat C B flat C now here's a good part we go from a high C we got to jump all the way down to low C so that jump is gonna sound like this That's a, the biggest jumps that we've had. All right, so here's 37. One, two, ready, and. All right. Um, we talked about accents. We talked about staccato. We talked about slurs. Talked about the ties. So at this point, if there's something that you need to practice, you got to go back and you got to pause this video. You got to do it on your own. Those jumps, I'm telling you, those jumps are going to require some practice. And it's not just messing around on your trumpet. Play long sounds. It's going to help your lips kind of figure out what they need to do when you need to play those notes. You're developing some muscle memory. Okay, we want to look for really good full tone quality. We don't want to hear. It's kind of it's like mm. that means our lips are not staying together. It means we're kind of in between a buzz and a something else. So make sure you're getting that really warm full sound. All right, you've paused, you've went back, you've replayed, you've practiced, and now you're ready to do the whole entire movement. So here we are at the beginning of Stegosaurus. One, two, start on G. So hopefully that was a good recording. You can go back and you can practice. Please, please, please take time to learn your part. This is only one movement out of four. So really take advantage of today. Practice, practice, practice. At this point, if you've made it through the entire video, congratulations. You have been rewarded with a secret word. If you tell me the secret word at any time during class tomorrow, I will reward you with full credit for watching this video and stuff. Um, so the secret word is orange, orange, orange is the secret word. Um, please tell it to me in kind of like in a hush hush way so that people who haven't watched the video and haven't done their work don't get any hints or clues. So see you tomorrow.